Hi, Matt from Invariant here, and welcome to the tutorial on using the Scratchpad in RapidPlan. The Scratchpad in RapidPlan is an extremely valuable tool to use whilst creating your plans. Its main purpose is to store objects that you most commonly use, making them easily accessible for any future plans you create. This can include any signage, custom road objects, or any other plan related objects that you use. Saving objects to your scratchpad is very easy and just requires a couple of clicks. Once you have found the sign or object that you want to save to the scratchpad, simply just right click and in the right click menu head down to add to scratchpad and left click on that. What this will then do is add the sign to your default tab in your scratchpad as you can see here. It can also work well for groups of objects or signs that you use commonly. For example, these three signs here. At the moment, they're all individual signs, but you can group them together by highlighting them all and then clicking group in the right click menu. Then you can right click again on the grouped object and add it to the scratch pad. It will then add that group of signs for later use. So rather than having to drag and drop each individual sign, it will save them as one whole object. You can also see, see here in the, uh, the, the tab the plus icon. This enables me to create a new folder for saved objects. So for example, I could save this tab as speeds, another as lane markings, road objects, etc. Then to add a certain object to a folder, I just made it, need to make sure the correct tab is selected, then just select your sign. So for this one, I will select the speed sign tab and then click on a speed sign to add it to the scratch pad. The scratch pad can be particularly useful if you edit existing signs and then add them to the scratch pad. Let me demonstrate here by altering one of the speed signs. I can double click to edit the text, then enter the desired text I want to change it to. This has now changed the sign, so from here I can then go ahead and add it to my scratch pad for later use. I'll add it to the speeds tab so it's easier for me to access. As you've seen here, the possibilities of the scratch pad are quite endless. After a few plans have been made, you will find yourself adding more and more to your scratch pad. That covers the basics of using the Scratchpad. Thanks for watching the tutorial. Don't forget to hit subscribe below to stay updated on new content at Invarium.